What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and back into Forza Horizon 4 and the summer season of Series 40. So right now we're driving around in our Ferrari 360, the 360 Challenge Stradale that we unlocked in the last video. So if you've seen that, definitely go check it out. But today we're going to be jumping in and continuing on in the seasonal championships. And we're going to take care of the FF Spotlight Seasonal Championship. This is a road racing series. And you can see the car restriction is B700. And it has to be a front engine, front wheel drive vehicle. So I've got three cars set up and ready to go. We're going to jump down here and start this championship up. All right, so you can see that our reward for this, uh, for completing or placing first against highly skilled drive avatars is the DS3 Racing from 2011. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what races we've got. Uh, championship. Circuit Horizon race, in summer. What more circuit race, want? sprint race. Okay, so the circuit race here that we're doing is the festival loop, so it's not even that big of a deal. This is the car that we're getting. So the DS Automobiles DS3 Racing. So I've got it. I don't know that I've ever used it for anything, but the three cars we're going to use are the 2016 Abarth 695 by Posto, the 20 or 2002 Acura RSX Type S, and the 97 Honda Civic Type R. So I think I'm going to jump into the Abarth first and we'll knock this out and get it into the circuit races. All right, and like I said, you have to make sure that you're racing against at least highly skilled drive avatars in these championships to unlock the car at the end of it. But let's go ahead and jump into the Horizon Festival circuit in our Abarth. Um, we've got a nice little sunset paint job here. Um, each of the cars that we use today will have tunes on them. And I will put those share codes up on the screen at the beginning of the races, along with down in the description below. There's also a link to a Discord server for the channel in the Discord or in the description below. I don't know how we got that checkpoint, um, but definitely go check that out. The tunes are on that Discord server as well, and they usually get posted to that Discord server before the videos actually get posted. So if you're impatient like me and you want to check them out a little early, um, you can go join that Discord server and find them there but the discord server is going to be used for a few other things on there there's different channels for finding other people to play with whether it be in the trial events the summer or the, not the summer the seasonal playground games or even if you're just looking for people to play the game with you can find some uh you know post in there to see if you can find anybody that drive a is trying to take me out um, but you can post in there to see if you can find anybody to play with or help out with those challenges. So definitely worthwhile there. Um, I'll mention that I want to do, or I'm going to do a Forza Horizon 5 giveaway when the game launches on November 9th. And, um, you know, I don't have too much details on that right now. I'm going to actually announce the winner of the giveaway on November 8th. That way they can get the game preloaded and all that stuff um, to be ready to go for November 9th. Um, but as of right now, the only two requirements, well, I guess there's three technically. Um, you're going to have to be subscribed to the channel. You're going to have to be in the Discord server because I want an easy way to communicate with people. Um, after the giveaway, you can leave if you want. Um, but, you know, I just want an easier way to communicate with the winner. Um, so I think Discord's the easiest way to go. This Abarth is not doing too hot right now. But um, the other requirement is subscribing to the channel. And then I'm going to make one of my videos a video that people will comment a certain phrase or something along those lines on. It'll be the very first video that I post of Horizon 5 because I did order the premium edition. So I will get it um, a few days early than the actual you know normal release of, for the normal edition so um, on my very first video of Horizon 5 will be the video that you'll want to keep an eye out for um, but definitely get subscribed to the channel if you want to you know chance to win Horizon 5 
Something I'm also going to do is whenever I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do another giveaway of Horizon 5. So definitely get subscribed if you want to, you know, get closer to that. Um, right now, Social Blade, which is a tool or a website that you can use to like look at, you know, subscriber predictions and stuff like that, um, predicts that I will get to a thousand subscribers around the beginning of December this year, which is awesome. Um, so potentially within two months, we may have two giveaways for Horizon 5 to give back to you guys. So um, definitely get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for those. I mean, two out of a thousand are very good odds, especially when you account that not everybody will actually comment on those videos uh, for the giveaways. And, you know, your odds are looking real good to win a copy of Horizon 5. So definitely get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for those. But we did win this one. Um, as you can see, we got 20 points on the far right there. We got 20 points for coming in first. And that is something that you should note that you do have to do all three of these races. You don't have to finish first in every single one of these races. You just have to be first at the end of the three races on this championship leaderboard. So we're gonna jump into the next event and jump into our next car. All right, here we go into race number two. We're jumping into the Acura RSX. RSX. Um, so we'll see how this does. Is that a barf? Really, I mean, it worked. We won. It just seemed like it was just down on power. And I mean, we're in B class, so that could be why. I don't know. But we'll see what this Acura looks like here. It already feels better through the turns. Maybe it's just because the... A little bit longer wheelbase gives a little bit more stability, potentially. I'm not 100% sure, but we're up in the fourth. Climbing position's pretty quick. Um, it definitely feels a little faster. I know we're not really keeping up with... Well, we're not gaining, is what I should say. We're definitely keeping up with first, second, and third, but we're not gaining on them yet. Um, the drive guitars really don't know how to handle turns very well, and that's where you know we'll make up a lot of our time. Like right there, we didn't have to break. I don't think they broke either, but we can go into this turn a little late. A little bumping on the inside there, and we're up into second now. And let's see if we can get around first place. There we go. And we're up in the first comfortably now. <clears throat> so there we go. We're up in the first on the first lap, which is always good. And let's see if we can just put some distance between us now. But um, I guess something else I should know is um, you don't have to use three vehicles for these championships. I do it just so that I can show more options um, and create more content, uh, more useful content um, for you all. So you can just pick one of these cars. You don't have to use all three. Um, it's definitely something to note um, that usually you know, if I wasn't doing it for YouTube, I would pick one car and stick to it just because you would get to you get used to that car and the way it drives in those three races. Um, but I try to make it to where I use three different vehicles, one vehicle per race um, for the championships. Um, that way you can kind of see what might work better. Like this honestly feels a lot better than the Abarth did. So as of right now, my suggestion would be to use this unless you don't have it. If you've got the Abarth and not this right now, I mean, you'd probably be fine using the Abarth, but um, it was also a very tight course that we were racing on with the Abarth, so it might do better on here. I don't know, but um, I try to use three cars that are easily accessible as well. That's like a big thing. Like, you know, I could use three, you know, hard to get cars if I wanted to, but it's not gonna really benefit anybody you know, if they can't, if they don't have the car, right? So, um, not everybody will have every single car that I use, and that's another reason that I use, or try to use three different vehicles, so. But we're on to our last lap. We've got a ma major, or a major, I don't know why I couldn't say major there. We've got a major league lead. I can't talk at all right now. I shouldn't say major lead. We've got a good lead on the Drivatars, so we'll just kind of skip towards the end of this race. Since we've got about a half a lap left, and there's no sense in making guys sit here and listen to me ramble. So we'll just skip towards the end of this lap. And around.
on the final turn we go. Just got a little bit of a, a bearing turn. And that will complete that race. I really like that car. I really, that, I don't know, that just feels really good. I'm not used to driving anything other than all wheel drive cars and that felt really good to drive for it being front wheel drive, so. But we'll go ahead and jump into the final race and that Honda Civic Type R. All right, here we go, into the Honda Civic. I just now realized that this thing isn't even fully tuned, like the PI level isn't all the way up to 700, but nonetheless, um, we'll see how this tune does. The share code for it will be up on the screen now. It seems that it has lower stats than the other two cars, but we'll see. I'm not really sure how relative those stats really are. We are doing a sprint race, not a circuit race. The top speed might be a little bit more of a factor here. And we're just zooming around cars right now. Maybe reaching our top speed around 130. But we're still just gaining and passing up every single car, so this thing feels really good. It's pretty stable. I mean, it's got a big old wang, right? It better be stable. Thing's not just for looks, because if it was, I mean, it's a little gross, but it's definitely not the worst wing, I guess, but um, we're looking good. We've got up into first, and we've got about, well, what is that? About 7, 75% of the race, well, 60% of the race now to go. And we're just continually pushing forward and trying to gain and increase that lead against the Dravitars. Let's see how it does against this water. seem to be catching up at all which is fine. which is good i mean they shouldn't we're all front wheel drive front engine so nobody really should go through the water any better unless they've got a little bit higher of a ride yeah i think we'll be fine we're over halfway now and we've got some little turns coming up we're slowly losing that drive guitar circle in the bottom left on that map so we're not gonna break through that turn. Let's see if we can get through these pretty flat. Got through that one flat enough. We're gonna definitely break for that. Just slightly though. This one will let off a little bit. And we're through the turns. Or the curves. And that there has just really helped our lead against the Dravitars, because I'm assuming that they're gonna break a lot harder for that. And we are literally zooming, so this is definitely a good option for the sprint race. I'm curious to how this would perform in the circuit races. Assuming it would do well enough, so. So my suggestion for this championship, of the cars that I've used at least, um, would be either the Civic or the um, RSX. So, good, good, good options. There we go. So across the line, that's gonna get us this total of 60 points. You can see that we are in first on that championship leaderboard, which will get our FF spotlight complete. And it'll get all three of those stars for us, which in turn will unlock the DS3 racing car. So, but there we go. That's how you unlock the DS, the 2011 DS3 racing car in the summer season of Forza Horizon 4. I hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful. If you did, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 4 content and those Horizon 5 giveaways. I hope you guys do have a great rest of your day and we will see you in the next video.